Tonight we return to a neighborhood with an ongoing nuisance. It's been three months since we last reported on trains stopped on tracks. City Council is working to get them moving, but right now the responsibility is mostly on companies and the federal government. Yeah, imagine how frustrating it could be. Residents say the train stay parked sometimes for hours, interrupting travel, causing emergency responders to find new routes to calls. Adam Bennett looking into the how the city is going to fix this problem, Adam. Lynn, step one is measuring the problem. So they put smart cameras at six railroad crossings, including this one here on Lawndale. And during a recent month, they measured more than 100 blockages like this one here lasting more than an hour, more than 30 lasting more than three hours and the longest nearly 15 hours. In Houston's Eastwood neighborhood, everybody knows the neighbors. It's a great neighborhood to live in. Clay Dipple loves his home, but not planning trips to and from it. The, the train stops have gotten longer. There are more trains. The trains themselves are longer. Dipple says it's delaying parents dropping off their kids at nearby schools. It just sits here freaking all night. Martin Wells says it's hurt his car wash business. I'm running a million dollar company, but I'm losing a lot of money. It's also forced Houston firefighters and paramedics to adapt response routes. Station 18 is surrounded by a triangle of train tracks. Since 2019, we've had over 3,200 uh, instances where our first responder vehicles have had to divert uh, as a result of, of the blocked uh, intersections and, and crossings over the trains. Railroad officials told city council members during a committee meeting today that several issues can stall trains. Those include mechanical problems, trespassers, or congestion from the number of goods moving through Houston because of the region's economic growth. We are looking at what improvements can be made, some of which we had talked about earlier of between the signal upgrades as well as uh, within the yard itself. Councilmember Robert Gallego says they'll send the smart camera data to the railroads. He's also been in touch with federal officials. Transportation Secretary Buttigieg, uh, he called me this morning. Uh, he said that uh, they will be looking at this uh, 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 committee meeting, uh, you know, the, the Department of Transportation, uh, and he will make sure that the Federal Railroad Administration also looks at this information that we discussed today. And back here live, some good news. It looks like this train is slowly starting to move again. Some neighbors out here, they want city council members to really push for federal infrastructure dollars. They're also, uh, the city rather, they're planning to expand the smart camera program to other neighborhoods. That is their hope. And here in the East End though, a little bit of relief for drivers. They are planning to, we're actually right now in the design phase for some underpasses at Commerce and York, anything they can do just to get people living around here some relief. Len? Yeah, really unbelievable the number of hours you're talking about. Adam, thank you.